What's going on YouTube? I am out here at Lake Wheeler and I figured I'd change up the scenery for my vlogs because I don't think I've ever done anything besides sitting at some sort of table around the house. So I figured today was a good one to change it up. In regard to last week's video, which I'm not sure when I'm going to post this, but I did ask for 10 likes and I would say, and I said that I would drop this video. So here I am dropping the video. And if we get 15 on this one, then I'll drop the next video but I'm not sure on what yet. We'll think about it. But as you can see from the title of this video, it's about loving yourself. And more specifically, loving yourself before you get into relationships with other people. And that's not just boyfriend, girlfriend, but relationships with friends, maybe reconnecting ones with family, things like that. Just people in general, relationships with people in general. And granted, I haven't been around 40 years and dated 600 people and been married three times and divorced three times um, so I may not have this world of experience to speak on but I think that I'm an extremely analytical person and I just see things from an outside view or I try to a lot of the times and that gives me a better perspective than what I think most of my peers at my age end up seeing things as versus just the typical black and white that you'll typically look at things so let's talk about like why you would get into a relationship with somebody in general um, and I, let's go with specifically the boyfriend and girlfriend relationship i think that that one specifically is going to come out of a lot of times and not all the time but a lot of times i think that comes from comfort and, and i just want a want to belong a lot a want to be with somebody and to to feel comfort around that person whether they're the right or the wrong person to be around. And then I guess that is, uh, you know, even friendships. You, you just want to be around that person because they bring highs to your, life's, to your life. Um, but maybe it's not always the highest point that you could be at in your life because maybe there's a lot more lows. Another reason could be social reasons, just maybe whether it's a status thing, being with that person, being around that person, um, or, or more so just wanting to be around people in general. And again, going back to that comfort and belongingness. I think more importantly, before we start talking about why you should be friends with somebody, why you should date somebody or something like that, maybe, maybe that's the next video, why you should start loving yourself, how you can, and, and why I think personally that it's so extremely important to do so. So in terms of loving yourself, what does it consist of? And I think one of the first things that comes to mind is doing it literally no matter what. Loving yourself no matter what. And I think I guess these next things I'm going to talk about kind of are subcategories of it. You're going to do it no matter what, for better or for worse, no matter the highs and the lows, whether you're sick or not sick, no matter what, you're always going to love yourself. Whether you make a grand this week, you make 10 grand next week, you go in debt this week, no matter what, you're gonna love yourself. You're sick this week. You have the flu next week. You get in Japanese encephalitis next week. Or you're at just perfectly good health for the first time in your life. No matter what, you're gonna be in love with yourself. And I think the other biggest thing that comes to mind is that you're always able to count on yourself. I think specifically in maybe my age group and also definitely a little bit younger. Um, so maybe plus or five my plus or minus five years from my age, 21, um, I think that a lot of people are, are with others because they count on them. And, and that's just one of the reasons is that they don't end up counting on themselves and they're counting and relying on the other people for certain things that they could ultimately do themselves, but they just don't realize that they can. Whether that's counting on yourself to be able to support yourself, you know, whether it's rent, food, and all these good things, or maybe it's just supporting yourself in, in terms of emotional support. You go through something with the family and you need somebody there. Um, you know, we all go through tough times at some point in our lives and some worse than others, but at the same time, like, I think that everything, or a huge majority, I don't want to say everything, but a huge majority of it is something that you should be able to rely on yourself and not have to have the need for help from others. And granted, there's definitely situations where that does not apply. There, there may be a need for someone to step in and give you that kind of intervention where you need help with something. But ultimately, I think until those times happen in your life, you should be able to completely, I guess we'll go into a little bit of like getting into a relationship with another person Again, friends, family, boyfriend, girlfriend, no matter what it may be, 
the one thing that I like to always ask myself, or at least now that I like to ask myself, after all that I've learned with my past relationships is, how do you feel in that person's presence? And just think about that for a moment. How do you feel in that one person's presence that you're talking to right now? Think at this point, maybe my generation, and maybe this has always been a thing, but, and definitely upcoming generations, but we're trying to get the other person to like us for sometimes and a lot of the time who are not. We, we just want to be that person's, we want to be that perfect person for that person, even if that's not who we are. And I think that it's so important that when you're in the presence of someone else, you're not sitting there trying to get them to like you. You're just more so in tuned with yourself that you're ha so happy and content with who you are before they're even within your presence that when they are within your presence, you're not spending all the time with them trying to prove to them that you're the perfect person for them or something like that. And I think when, when you spend all this time in the beginning of some kind of relationship, whether again, friends, girlfriend, boyfriend, no matter who it is, like, and you're trying to get that person to like you because like, we all, we want to be around people that we like and, and you want to have that mutually, of course. But I think like, say for example, the honeymoon phase of like the boyfriend, girlfriend, like that will disappear even quicker because eventually you're not going to be who that person wanted you to be because that's not actually you. And that's going to happen. That's going to go away so much quicker. And then like in the friend phase, like that, that, oh man, that's going to like, that's just going to become complete turmoil in the, t in sense, in the in regards to just the fact that like they're not really going to be your best friend and if you thought that they were your best friend it's going to it's going to turn out in a very bad way um because i think like best friends like breaking up is like way worse than a boyfriend or girlfriend or at least personally just because like that's my best friend so um i don't know this is my thoughts on on just um loving yourself and i think that it's just so important to to kind of have that and not to rely on other people and um comment below if like you agree with me or like what your thoughts are on it um or if you have a different view i'd love to hear it honestly uh give me a like if you like this video subscribe if you haven't already um we'll be having a ton more content come out very soon i know that i've been behind on that in the past few months of my life because i've just not been myself but i'm back and um let's make this happen guys here we go